owe the kids these days. Sound familiar? What a change from a few years back when teenagers' values were simple. Oftentimes we hear about the problems with the youth today. It's easy to find fault. But this story deals with a group of high school students who actually raised money for the privilege of being locked up for 28 hours at the 6th Annual South High Dance Marathon last Friday and Saturday. The idea of the marathon began in 1978 to raise money for local projects. A group of students and advisors thought it would be easier to raise money locally if it were to be used locally for various worthwhile causes. So the first and second years of the project, proceeds were used to help the Moreau Emergency Squad. From there, it developed into a school tradition. Since then, the marathon has provided funds to help the senior citizens in South Glens Falls to provide a kidney dialysis machine for the Glens Falls Hospital, to help fund the Ronald McDonald House in the Capital District. And this year, the students received pledges for nearly $7,000, which will be used to purchase a multi-patient monitoring device for the chemotherapy department of the Glens Falls Hospital. Bill McCarthy is an art teacher at South High. He has also served as a student advisor for the Dance Marathon Club since its beginning. He told me of the work involved with soliciting the money. We send letters to all the businessmen in the town of Morrow, and that's followed up two weeks later by visits from the students. And then the kids who dance, uh, each, each student who dances has to raise $50 minimum. In order to even come and dance? In order to dance, right. So what we ask them is that they, they don't um, solicit money from the merchants. Otherwise, there would be like a train of them going in, you know, because they're kind of easy targets. So we do that from the committee, and then they, they solicit their funds from uh, friends, neighbors. Uh, sometimes your parents take, take a pledge sheet in to work with them and, uh, and do it that way. Dick Stewart is president of the Bulldogs Booster Club. He's also been involved with the dance marathon since it started in 1978. What kind of a feeling does it give you to be involved in something like that? Of course, I know you say you're proud of the children and everything else. What, what do you actually get out of it? It's a real high. Uh, it makes me feel younger to associate with youth, especially with this class of youth. Uh, they're nice kids. Uh, you can't help but get a high. It's hard to explain unless you're here with them 28 hours mm -hmm. and you see them when they're exhausted and you can be treated as an equal. And that's a privilege that very few people have. There's more to this story than just raising money for a good cause. John Hall is the father of one student who was caught up in the excitement of being involved. Tell me a little bit about what's gonna happen with this money. Well, Gil Bacon was a local pharmacist and uh, when they had their meeting to decide on where to put it, uh, they had thought of Gil because he had uh, just passed away, but there was a couple of teachers here in the Southlands Falls school system and a couple of uh, the students. And they thought about the chemotherapy department. So they went up and contacted the Glens Falls Hospital, spoke to them on anything they might need, and it's a monitoring system that's going to the chemotherapy department. The entire community around here was uh, respected Gil, and they've all backed this project 100%. I'm amazed at where um, the money that's coming in. And I believe there's, uh, talking with Bill, um, there's some people down around Clifton Park or someplace that uh, had known Gil and done business with him, and they, they mailed uh, checks in to us. And just one of the best, best light guys around, and they just want to, to do something for the community and uh, have it in his memory. This year's marathon began on Friday evening at 7 p.m. The students danced through the night, taking breaks only to eat meals and freshen up a little. A few hours were set aside Saturday afternoon for some sleep. Seventy kids in all participated this year, and it should be noted that a minimum of $50 in donations is required per student for the privilege of entering the marathon. Bill McCarthy told us that with this year's receipts of $7,000, a grand total of $22,000 has been collected over the years.
Area businesses also help the cause a great deal by donating money and prizes for the dancers. Nibco of South Glens Falls has provided two $100 scholarships for the best all-round students involved in the event. Making the presentation was Woody Harvey, general manager of the plant. I knew Gil personally, and if Gil Bacon was here tonight, he would say, thank you, I love each of you. Oftentimes we hear about the problems with the youth today. But the students of South High, well, now you know the story. This is Peter Pape for Hometown TV Magazine.